Greetings my friends. Let's do some more turns starting with number 13 for tactical briefing. So in turn number 13 we had a little bit of events. Barbarian scouts refused to say anything about their purpose. Now I believe this is this nice new event that warns you that you're going to get a barbarian attack. However, when I played this turn I didn't know that. Didn't do me any, any, any darn good at all. Looks like I got a little luck with some searching. So, let's see. Yep, searched with a high priest of the sun. I'll go and find there. And I've claimed the throne. So that's pretty tasty. Now what we need to do is have a look and see what the plan is. Well, expansion is basically finished. I have to make a decision. Looking here, I'm moving this large army into position. I'm going to use the Y key. Shows me who I'm moving. Boy, that morale hit's kind of painful. Sure would be nice to get a tribal king up there. It's going to take a little bit of time. Let's look at these scales again. Yeah, I'm not sure who I'm leeching the death scales from. Uh, I'm guessing it's probably not Vanheim. So I'm thinking it's Abyssia with his death scales, luck, and magic scales. Kind of some odd choices. I'm going to send my pretender over here. And I'm making some kappas. The idea of the kappas was to get in the water. Not over here where I'd be fighting with Abyssia, but I've got this nice little lake. So we'll give a shot to try to get into there. Back here at home, started another Palisades. Capturing a few slaves. The intent of having some slaves is very, very cheap patrollers. That's unique to Mechlin. And as people are probably aware, those slaves are pretty darn crappy. We snagged Selfuria over here. Looks like a little bit of trouble taking that. We got the throne coming, so pretty pleased with everything that's happening here. Back at home, more Eagle Warriors, grabbing another Tribal King, so on and so forth. So there's the action. It's a pretty quiet turn. I'm going to move on, go to turn number 14. Let's quit this, don't need to save. So it just wasn't a whole heck of a lot to see this turn. Turn number 14. Okay, we've claimed another throne. we got a few blood slaves here or there, nothing too much. Couple of events. Grabbed a skull mentor. That's always nice. Once I actually, hmm, there's a nice event. So in my magic treasury got a skull mentor. So eventually when I have somebody researching. Now you can see here, my second fort. Max Jags, lots of Mechlin priests. This province is 7,000 population, good one for blood hunting. I've started patrolling with some slaves, well right now just some Mechlin warriors. Because I don't have any opponents at the moment and no action happening, I don't have to worry about sending out these priests. So I'm going to set up a single priest, doing some sacrificing here and one doing blood hunting. My plan is, the province is with 5,000 plus population, I'm going to put two Miklan priests with sanguine dousing rods in each one. So that requires some preparation. So if you look at research, in anticipation of that, I'm going to go for construction research. Now of course, until I have a chance to settle down and stop having all my magi running about blessing jaguars, I can't get research going. But it will occur action here we're going to start some site searching. Now it's going to take a fairly broad selection of different capital only magi to do the site searching. And something you'll notice every time I've got a bit of a gold crunch, say I'm building temples, forts, that sort of thing, I want to buy some Miklin priests but I do want to keep up my sacred recruitment, eagles or jaguars. Nice thing for Miklin, it does take quite a few different dudes but you've got nature blood, Water blood, astral blood, and fire blood. So you can search for a nice broad selection of paths doing manual search, but it does take quite a few magi walking about. Temple's coming up, get some more slaves, get some more slaves, and building the palisades. This one is not going to be a good location to blood hunt. 
For those under, who understand, your chance to blood hunt depends on population, unrest, and your blood magic skill. The population check is 100% at 5,000, and it drops off. It's a ratio below that. So here we'd be sitting at about 72% chance to successfully blood hunt. No, actually, I guess that would be 78. So not too bad, but why mess around with that? Just stick to the bigger provinces. With growth 3, hopefully, as my dominion spreads and the growth works, those provinces will move upwards. And since I'm planning to patrol, the patrolling will kill some population. Again, that's why growth 3 is very important. Sacrificing a little more action going on here. So, again, a pretty simple turn. Now, how many Kappas have I recruited so far? Let's take a look. Not enough. I'm going to need quite a few more if I'm going to try to take out these sea trolls. Now here, Amber Clans are evil. It's going to take something far more robust to take on Amber Clans. And back to planning for war. I have a choice of Sarmadia, maybe Kalem, or Vanheim. Let's take a look at statistics, see what might be the best target. Kind of hard to tell from here in statistics. Vanheim has a pretty hefty potential to be a very powerful nation, and I do have my largest border with them, well, perhaps with Saramati as well, but at some point you have to make a decision. So, we'll see. Now, another key thing here, you can see from the army chart, Saramatia looks pretty tough. They do have Androphag Poison Archers. But with the throne I got with the poison defense, that might not be a major issue. Well, I think that's enough for this turn. You know, now we've finished expansion, we've met up on our borders, now it's time to plan what to do. And since this is a double blast, without very good scales, okay scales, but not great, I have to kill somebody. I can't really stop and wait. Found another magic site here in turn number 15, the Smolder Stone. What's the Smolder Stone? Ah, nothing too special, just a basic site. Let's look over the other messages. Not doing too well on the blood hunting. We definitely want to get those sanguine dousing rods coming out. Unexpected result? Yes, there's the barbarians that we were warned about. And here in Micklin, uh, Slaw 3. Well, that didn't do much. Losing some resources didn't do much, so not very painful. And... Those guys in Winden, the Barbarians, they got my commander. So, we're going to... But, look at that. Came roaring back. Where are we, Wyndham? There they are. Well, I've got this squad here of Jaguars being led by a High Priest. Bring them back and take that province back. Still looks like I've decided. Yep, yeah, I did decide. I'm going to start rolling out the Kappas. Bring them forward and try for these Trolls. Back here, the Palisades will be done in one more turn. And I'm going to start doing some scouting. I found here a scout province. So I love having lots and lots of scouts. So I'm just going to stick that on repeat recruit recruitment and pour out the scouts. Back at home, recruitment. Trying to save some money. Keep the infrastructure going for now. So more Micklin priests are always useful. You can always do things with them. And every once in a while you get a good random like this here with Astral. In fort number two, recruitment's the basic, more priests. Run a little on cash right now, but that's in order to get temples, labs, and forts up. So nothing wrong with running a little bit of short of cash for buying maxed out Jaguars during a pause. No, a pause in warfare. So Armadia has shown that he's done no build up of forces on my borders. Got some scouts tucked in through most of his adjacent provinces. Got some rivers happening. You can see these river crossings are closed right now with the heat. It is summer, so that's to be expected. More river crossings over here. Might be holding up Vanheim from his action. Scouts watching over what Vanheim's doing. So I'll have to make a decision in the next few turns. Okay. I can't think of anything else. If folks have questions, you know to post them on the comments section or find me at Dom4Mods.
Thanks a bunch. Hope to see you in game.